So I want to jump right into how Salto can actually help you deploy these changes from one environment to another. So I'm going to jump into the compare and deploy part of Salto and open up the compare and deploy. Uh, now for the dem demonstration today, what I'm going to show is that that workflow that I had created in Sandbox, I'm going to take that and promote that up to my production environment. So in Salto, I'm going to select the source as my sandbox environment, and I am going to select my production environment. And now I'm going to give it a title. So really simply going to call it add new workflow. So if you are using a ticket platform, like for example, Jira itself, I could also take that ticket. Like for example, here I've got a ticket that says I need to add that new workflow for updating teams. Now I'm ready to go ahead and push it into production. And I can go ahead and put that ticket ID in the deployment name. I'll show you how that's going to all tie together here at the end. Now, as soon as I click on compare and deploy, Salto is going to instantly show me all the differences in between these two environments. Uh, one, one other thing to note is that with Salto, you can also export all of these changes as a CSV. So if I wanted to, if I open this view up in Salto and realized, wow, I've got a huge amount of differences in between these two environments, we need to talk about an alignment process. Maybe we need to refresh the, the sandbox. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and select these changes to deploy into my production environment. Now using Salto, you can quickly filter and sort to the changes that you wanna see. Um, now I've got a workflow that's called update team. So I went, I used the search bar up here to search directly for it. Pulling this up in Salto, I can see the, the workflow. I can see that it's an addition and I'm going to select it for deployment. As soon as I select it for deployment, you'll notice that these uh, required dependencies and additional de dependencies tabs start to populate uh, because Salto is using what we know about its relationships to other configurations um, and flagging those as required dependencies. In this case, it looks like we've got this on hold status that doesn't yet exist in my target environment. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Now, something that might might be interesting for for uh, for the audience is that it's also going to flag any additional dependencies. Uh, what that means is any any of its dependencies that also has uh, specific changes. So in this case, it uh, looks like someone has updated the open status in my sandbox environment. But if I really dig into that, it looks like ah. Uh, Someone just updated the status category. It's not necessarily a change that I need to make in my production environment. But the reason I bring that up is that Salto allows you to select which changes you want to push over. Some configuration management tools might take the entire change and overwrite uh, in any of, it, of the related changes. Uh, but with Salto, you're going to be able to, to focus on just the changes that you want to pull over. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move forward with the deployment process. All right, so now that the deployment preview has completed, um, this is kind of the review process. So in Salto, it gives you a number of, of different ways to be able to complete this process. Now, if you noticed here, I've got a, uh, a modal here that says pending and my deploy and push is grayed out. Now that's because I've enabled uh, some features in Salto that essentially takes what I want to deploy and turns it into a pull request uh, into one of my connected uh, into a connected Git repo. Now, Salto is compatible with all the major Git providers like GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, and, and so on. And I, in my demo here, I've got a connection with GitHub. So let me show you what this looks like. Now, I know you're used to seeing your Jira configurations in the UI, seeing like what, what the workflow looks like in terms of like a diagram. Um, but what we've done in Salto is basically translate all of that into a flat file structure. And we represent all these configurations as a file called Knuckle, uh, Knuckle, which stands for not another configuration language, which allows us to do things like create uh, versions of the configurations over time, uh, create a pull request process. And if I look at the files changed, I can see what is going to be actually changed. So in this case, adding a workflow, adding this status, if I was doing any sort of modification, it would show a side-by-side -side comparison. Now, the powerful thing here is that once you uh, use this process with Salto, you can essentially use this to kind of create an approval process. So if you see below, it's saying that I need someone to review this pull request, otherwise I can't deploy, 
which is why if I come back to Salto, this deploy button is grayed out. So I actually cannot move forward with this process uh, unless I get an approval. So now that I've got this deployment, uh, it's sitting there queued and I need someone to approve it to be able to move forward with this process. Now I'm going to, if you, if you all give me just about 15 seconds, I am going to log into another window and uh, approve this change. Obviously in a real world example, you should not approve your own change. So uh, th this is just for demonstration purposes. But as soon as I, I've approved this change, I've also enabled another aspect of, of Salto that's, a, that's part of our advanced functionality. And this is running a, uh, running a, the Salto CLI as part of a GitHub action, or you can run this with a, whatever uh, Git provider that you have to kick off this deployment to run automatically. So you can imagine if you are a release manager, uh, you come into Salto, you can review all of the deployments that are in pending status. You could go into GitHub, you could review those changes, and then uh, as soon as you uh, approve those changes, uh, actually, I, I, I didn't click back to the screen fast enough, um, but you can see the deployment is already completed. Um, so you can completely automate the approval and deployment process here in Salto.